making me a bit annoyed that I have to grow up to a world that's not as nice as it used to be. The world is being destroyed from things that humans have made and how it's just different to how it used to be. Just the amount of like destruction, like not just even the factories and the farming industry, but destroying natural wildlife to grow natural wildlife. Adults. Um, are the ones that are in control here. I feel like we should have that control because we're the ones that have to suffer when we're older. It's all been adults who have caused all of this, so don't you think that adults should fix all of this? Anything that is really based in the city of Leeds and is putting young people's voices uh, front and centre is really important, really vital. It's always a real amazing, brilliant surprise how much young people have got to say and how wise they can be. So anything that lets us hear what they think about the really big issues in the world is, is exciting, is important, needs to happen. That perspective has so much potential in kind of addressing the issues and problems that we face. They're growing up in a very different world to the, grow up, the world the people currently in power grew up in. And they have ideas and they have a good sense of what they're capable of. I also hope that they realise their voice matters, that there are ways of expressing themselves and connecting with the outside world, despite not being able to vote or maybe not feeling like anyone ever asks them, they can still sort of project that out in different ways. This river you ask, where does it flow? It flows to the North Sea, the open sea, across the sea. To Iran, to Kurdistan, to Spain, to Turkey, to Slovakia, to Romania, Romania, to Somalia, to Nigeria, to Pakistan, to Afghanistan, to Sierra Leone, to Malaysia, to Gambia, to every country known. The same rain falls on every house, every street. The same puddles splash beneath every child's feet. This river, you ask, where does it flow? It flows to the world, to every place we all call home. This river, this rhythm, this music, this current. Each wave may break but lose no worth. Each bend in our course, just another turn, closer to the futures we travel towards. Futures where all land is shared, all land is safe, where we can sit with our gods, with our friends, surrounded by the happy chaos of family, and imagine universes of superheroes, of majestic side volleys, of racetracks and of nature. Worlds of peace and equality, where the air is clear and clean, where the cool breeze of the slow wind touches the faces of those we love, from the strong, independent women we come from, to the men we aspire to be, to those who draw gender and identity in flowing lines of pavement chalk, in vibrant colours on smartphone screens, edges blurred from staring too long, until we're called downstairs by the scent of jerk chicken or Friday fish and chips. We are food, we are friendship, we are salt and banter. We are empty packs of crisps, shared with friends, we are laughter. We are slushy cups and adventures, no idea where we're going. We are flowers, all unique, with our own way of growing. We are awesome, we are stage bound, feel the lights on our face. We are football pitches, slight tackles, achievement and pace. We are personality, we are sarcasm, we are unafraid, we are endeavor. We are chocolates, each one different but we all belong together. We are berries on a bush, held hostage by thrown swords, made claustrophobic by hundreds of branches, wielding power to restrict the millions of us desperate to grow, to strive for a future where our story does not become friendless, where we can take solace in the secrets of the trees, in the beauty of each moment. To move forward, we must take a step back from a distance. Our planet is one ring, once broken, there will be no replacement. And so we stand proud, we protect, we are.